Welcome to Analytica Video Shorts, short videos showcasing individual topics in Analytica 5.0. Your host today, Lonnie Chrisman. The new toolbar images in Analytica 5.0 give it a cleaner and more modern look. Today, I'll go over what they mean. The diagram button, the leftmost toolbar button, takes you to the influence diagram that contains whatever it is you're looking at. When you're viewing a result, it jumps to that variable in the diagram. From a diagram, it takes you up a level to the diagram that contains the module you were just viewing. The outline button takes you to the currently selected object in the model outline. The outline window is like a file folder hierarchy, but it's actually a module hierarchy. You, you can expand and collapse folders to navigate your model in outline form. At the top of the hierarchy, at the same level as your model, is the systems library module where you can browse the libraries of built-in Analytica functions and see their descriptions at the bottom. You can keep this open for quick reference while you work on your definitions. A right mouse menu option takes you to the wiki reference for detailed help on the function. Next is the object window button which opens the object window for the currently selected object. The teal grid-like icon is the result button. It computes a variable and opens its result window. So far I've told you about the diagram button, outline button, object button, and result button. These match the main window types in Analytica. The diagram window, the outline window, the object window, and the result window. And notice that the same icons from the toolbar appear in the top left corner of each window. The expression button has the x plus y image. It usually takes you to the definition of a variable. However, for table variables, it opens the edit table, and for buttons, it takes you to its on-click attribute. So here's a useful secret. To jump to the textual definition, even if it's a table or choice, hold the control and shift key while you click it. The magnifying glass opens the find dialog. Use this to find an object or objects in your model or to search a table. Press the list button here to display the found set in the object window. These buttons toggle between browse and edit modes. Browse mode for using models, edit mode for building and modifying models. The old arrow mode has vanished, thank goodness, since you can now draw arrows directly from edit mode in 5.0. The right half of the toolbar is visible only in edit mode and has all of the node types. You use these to create objects by dragging them to the diagram. The first several are various types of variables, namely decision, general variable, chance, and objective. The constraint node appears only in Analytica Optimizer and is used to specify constraints in optimization models. Next is the module node for organizing your model, the index node for creating new dimensions, and the constant for quantities that never change, like unit conversion factors or mathematical constants. And then the user defined function, text, and button. By the way, many people use the text nodes to visually group things like this. Drag a text node, size it, and then set a background color from the color palette. If you forget any of this, just hover on the toolbar button. The tooltip will remind you of what it does. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.